In this video, we will show you how to capture a scene from an ActiveX application using the Real-Time Designer Scene Composer, and then how to invoke various functionality in the application using the Designer's Monitor application. The same functionality can also be used in typical business workflows. First, a quick reminder about the Scene Composer. With the Scene Composer, you can capture a snapshot of an application or web page which encapsulates the different elements found in the application. For example, controls, texts, buttons, etc. Unlike the physical objects module that captures a single element or control at a time, the Scene Composer captures multiple elements in the application or page. You can then use those screen elements when designing your business workflows. This video is intended for those of you who already use the Real-Time Designer but want to learn more about working with the Scene Composer and ActiveX applications. Before you can capture a scene from an ActiveX application, there are some prerequisites. First, you must add the name of the ActiveX application to the constart CFG file located in your user's app data folder. If the file does not exist, then create it. Add the name of the application as it appears in the list of processes in the Task Manager. In this example, Test Grid 6, followed by a parenthesis like this. The file can include multiple ActiveX applications. The second prerequisite to remember is that you must launch the designer before opening the ActiveX application. After launching the designer, you can run the ActiveX application and capture the scene. The ActiveX object can be found under the ActiveX section in the toolbox. In the Physical Objects Scene section, you can view the functionality of the ActiveX control. It is important to note that each ActiveX control has its own unique properties, functions, and events. Now we can run the client and monitor to invoke actions in the application. In the Scenes tab, the scene must first be activated before you invoke any of the functions. For our first example, we will capture data from the application by selecting the row and column from the available functions. For our second example, we will change the background color of the application by changing the value of the back color property. And finally, for the last example, we select the number of rows to display. In this video, you have seen how to apply the conditions needed for capturing scenes from an ActiveX application, and then capture the scene and invoke different functionality in the application.